Good morning, my friends, with another what I eat in a day when I'm not doing a mukbang. I've been going hard. Mukbang. 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 You guys have been, some people are getting so upset that I'm pronouncing mukbang wrong. Wow, first world problems. But I will try my best to remember it's mukbang. So yeah, today's gonna be a normal day of eating. Once in a while, if I'm really craving it, I'll buy a watermelon. This was 99 cents at Berkeley Bowl. I was like, what the heck? It's out of season, but let me try it out. Watermelons are the kind of fruit that like a fruit snob like me, and I call myself a fruit snob because I've eaten so much fruit. I can't eat a bad watermelon. It's literally like eating styrofoam. Like there's no calories in it. There's no carbs. There's no sweetness. There's no vitamins. It's like a wash. It doesn't make any sense to eat. But once in a while, I'll just try it out because, you know, watermelon's the best, um, and I miss it. So I give this one, this one's like on the fence. I give it like a four out of 10. So I might chip at this for a while, and if I get bored, I'll eat something else. It is nice to eat something so hydrating in the winter though. Getting close to the Rhine, it's not that good anymore. All right, we got more fruits that people who don't live in California are gonna be like, how do you get good quality grapes at this time? It's because the Bay Area in California is the place to be. These are really good actually. Also, a huge bag of this. This is like maybe a fifth of it was also 99 cents in the bargain section at Berkeley Ball. Blessed. I promise I've been working, working for too long. Sometimes when I do too much editing and computer work and emails, I just start to, to, to melt into my chair like a, like a, like a worker cubicle American, no. So what do I do when I get in that situation? I take my shirt off, get out in the sun and go for a run. I gotta keep it real, show you what I'm working with, show you show you what my diet and exercise and lifestyle produces physical body wise. I tell you a lot what it does emotionally, brings me love, compassion, community. Here's what it does to my body. halfway through my little six miler I'm doing. And I just wanted to, you know, take a moment to just stop my run. I'm not some elite athlete trying to get some crazy fast mileage. I'm out here moving my body, feeling the chemical bliss that happens when the human body moves in nature and enjoying these flowers. Look at this stuff. I mean, it, what, what gets better than this? I can see the bay. You can see, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but I can see San Francisco and oil drilling, unfortunately, over there. But it's beautiful out here. It's blossoming. Spring has practically sprung here in the Bay Area. And I am so grateful to live in a place where I can eat such high quality food year round, enjoy exercising in nature year round. I'm so, so blessed. I've lived in Colorado. I've lived in Rhode Island. Not that those places are bad, but for me, the West Coast calls to me. So I'm so grateful that I get to spend my time here. Okay. I better finish out the run. I send my love and bless from my heart 
every human being who is passing under me right now under this freeway pass. I love you. You are my brothers. You are my sisters. May you have safety and happiness and health for your life. Ah! In. I got a little stretching and ab session in all within about an hour and 10 minutes beautiful little work break now we're gonna go carb up of course and get back on the grind see what the day has in store every pain-free run I have to be grateful that my body's working. I have a good track record of being healthy and not getting sick from an immune system level, but I tend to work myself physically a little too hard. I'm feeling good right now, and I'm gonna carve up on this deliciousness. Let's get that focus. Oh, oh, come on, you got this. You got this little Sony RX100 Mark IV. Come on, come on. No, I'm not gonna do it today. It's all right, I still love you. Mmm. Yes. I just threw in some almond milk because there was all that cereal. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. Finished my delicious lunch and I'm going through and answering YouTube comments right now. And I thought it would be a fun segment in my videos when I do uh, like what I eat in a day vlogs to shout out like a couple of my just nice and my favorite comments that I see from you guys. This one's from Bailey Grider. Watching this after work to help de-stress myself. Love it. I love that. I like that I can de-stress you. Katie Lewis, your positivity and love for this earth and all living things is beautiful. Thank you. Sophia Tello says, wow, thanks for always leaving me thinking all the things I can be grateful for. See you from Argentina. That's awesome, people from Argentina watching. Okie dokie, I'm about to go to yoga class and I was just thinking, doing some Plantriotic YouTube channel brainstorming, thinking about some collabs, thinking about some events I can host and videos to make. And I might regret this. I might regret saying this but I probably won't regret it. That if when I reach 25,000 subscribers, which right now I'm 1,400 subscribers away, 1,400 away, when I hit 25, I'm going to do the 10,000 calorie challenge again. Now, I've done two 10,000 calorie challenges. One of them was raw vegan. The second one was dirty vegan, like junk food 10,000 calorie challenge. I have a third genre topic focus of a 10,000 calorie challenge to do. I'm not gonna tell you until I post the video um, when I do it, when I hit 25,000, but it's a good one and it's totally different. So if you want me to do that challenge, all you have to do is help me get to 25,000 subscribers, telling your friends about my channel, your family. You know, I get about 4,000 views per video. If everybody just had one of their friends subscribe, boom, I'd be doing the 10,000 calorie challenge tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna announce that. I think it's time to do it again, to, you know, both 10,000 calorie challenge videos that I've done have brought more non-vegans into my channel to learn about my content than any other video. So that is why I do these things to increase awareness of this movement and what I have to promote, veganism, mindfulness, and the 10,000 calorie challenge does it in a really good way. And I have a video why I do food challenges on my channel if you're curious why I would do it um, and I explain it. So yep, 25,000 subs, I'm doing the 10,000 <laughs> calorie challenge video again uh, and you can help me get there. So uh, thanks, I guess.
if you help me get there, but not thanks because it sucks. But I'm going to have fun with it. Hopefully it'll be fun. Uh, yeah, just making that announcement. I am going to go to Yoga Namaste. So Thursdays are like my favorite day because I do everything that I've done all day and then I go to yoga class with my favorite teacher, Sita, and then I come home and eat dinner and then I go back to yoga for kirtan, which is chanting music. Hopefully I'll actually film in this kirtan so I can really show you guys what I'm talking about when I talk about kirtan all this time. So I'm preparing my food now for dinner so that it's ready when I get back from yoga. And shout out to all of my Banana Island crew that's going to be doing Banana Island with me next week. I am freezing some ripe bananas uh, to get ready for our event. Hello, my little yoginis. Look at how happy I look, how grounded, mindful, grateful for Sita's class. Uh, it was a beautiful class, very mellow, gentle, small class vibes. Give me a little bit more of your nectar. Yes. This is Organicville brand barbecue sauce. Original. So freaking good. This is a staple of mine. Pretty much every dinner. Mm. Got a big full belly like Ganesha and like Buddha. Now we're gonna go chant it out at cure time. And I'm gonna bring my camera this time. It's been too long. You guys must learn the ways of Kirtan. Greetings from the shed. How did you guys like that? I took the spaceship to the other realm like I do every week. That was beautiful. Thank you, Sita. Thank you to the musicians, to the community. That was so nourishing. Okay, I'm in the shed because my roommates go to bed very, very early and they're sleeping. And every night as I'm coming into my house, into my slumber, I say to myself, hello, body, how are you? Do you need anything to tide you over for your slumber where you do so many services for me like recover and nourish me and, and detox and rest? What do you need? And sometimes my body says, oh nothing, I am perfectly fueled up for my functions. Thank you, mind. And sometimes my, bo my body says, mm, you know, I would really like something comforting, something sweet, something nourishing before the slumber. And then I listen and I do it. What am I feeling now? I could use a snack. I'm gonna go take that snack, eat it. I will show you and then go to bed. Much love, my beautiful family. Mwah. Dream Extreme. See how high I get from that? Bye. Bye.